What's going on YouTube? This is your boy DaVinci's man back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about some Yeezys and it is the Yeezy 350 V2 linens man. I've been looking at these shoes all year. I really like how they looking. I know a lot of people out there that's watching this video are very interested in this release this upcoming Saturday. So today I'm gonna give you guys some details surrounding this release. Hopefully I help you guys out if you have any questions about this shoe. I'm trying to answer most of the questions I have myself in this video. So if you're new to the channel right now, what I need you guys to do is subscribe. Ring notification bell for your boy so you never miss another video that drops on the channel. And make sure you hit the like button to go for every video is 200 likes, man. If you watch this right now, man, just slap that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you don't mind, please head over to IG, give your boy a follow at Adventure World. It'll be linked down below in the description box. So all that being said, man, let's jump right into this video talking about these new upcoming Yeezys this Saturday, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I'm going to plug a couple pictures up here and over here so you guys can check them out if you do not know what they look like. But first things first, man, I really like how Yeezy is changing how it was last year. I know everybody was really, like, salty about how they brought out the Yeezy 350 V2s. A lot of them were very similar, man. So I brought a couple of my Yeezys out of the collection I want to show you guys. These are the Lumarks, and I feel like this was the first Yeezy that dropped last year to where all the other ones after would look just like the Lumarks in some type of way, man. And here you have it, the Cloud Whites that looks pretty similar to the Statics that released early last year, man. I was even on a live stream with Scoop to Wait the other day, and we was talking about how the Yeezy 350 V2s was looking very, very similar, and a lot of people didn't even want to go pick them up, man. You can see a lot of them were still sitting in stores, which we have never seen before. And you can go check on StockX and look at some of those releases, and they ain't not even going for that much much money man i always look back to like three years ago when a yeezy drop that was going for over 400 plus easily man but nowadays it's very different even the reflectives is not going for that much like they used to back in the day man if you guys remember the cinder reflectives just released maybe a couple weeks ago and they only going for like 300 dollars in size 9 you guys know size 9 is that money size for any shoe i feel like and of course that's my size so i'm always looking at it and it's always the most expensive one which is crazy but they only go for 300 dollars man a reflective back in the day maybe a year or two ago will go for at least four or five hundred plus so times are changing with these yeezys and with the whole color schemes and colorways as well like i said it was a lot of videos especially me i was reviewing a lot of the yeezys last year but it was like man i don't want to keep them because most of them look just like the Lomarts in some type of way. Maybe a couple of shades darker here, a couple of shades lighter here. And I was like, bro, I'm getting tired of the same looking Yeezy. But now they are switching it up. They gave us the cinders. They gave us the cinder reflectives. Like I said, they still not going for much, but they're still a dope shoe. I never judge a shoe based off the resale value, the market value for a shoe. I buy it because I like it. And if shoes are looking repetitive and stuff like that, I'm not going to want to go out there and spend my 200 plus dollars on a pair of shoes. Like I said, they switching it up a little bit. The center reflectors, man, was very fire. I really liked it. And now they're dropping these Yeezy 350 V2 linens, man, which are very fire. They got that nice blue strip in the middle of the shoe. And I'm wondering if they're going to drop a reflective pair. I haven't done my research that much about this shoe because usually the reflective joints is always hard to get. So I'll be satisfied with the regular non-reflective sneaker. I really wanted those 700 V3 Avlas, but you guys know I went on live stream. I could not hit on anything. I tried on Yeezy Supply and I tried on Adidas and I took an L on both of the sites that had like multiple browsers running. So it's kind of hard trying to cop on Yeezy Supply and Adidas manually, man. You need them bots. I know a lot of people have bots now and it's like bro people like me that don't even want to go out there and spend extra money on a bot it's taking l's left and right on those two sites but yeah man right now i checked the resale value i checked StockX, check goat and the linens are going for around 320 bucks in all sizes i think a size 15 was going for like 500 that's a real like random size it's kind of hard to find that shoe so i can just imagine why that size is going for that much money but 320 dollars for a pair of yeezys even looking back in the day or looking at it now that is not a lot of money for a pair of yeezys man everybody want yeezys that's like the new trend it's like the new wave so i can just see that price dipping a lot around release date if you guys remember the desert stage easy 350 v2s was going for around 320 dollars before release and then once they actually did release it was only going for around 250 dollars so you can kind of gauge the price off of the prior releases man for the desert stages so if you're looking to buy a man if you even take an l on adidas or yeast supply you can hit up goat or if you trust stock kicks you can go to stock kicks and buy your pair for around 250 260 bucks it's not that bad if you're comparing it to the releases back in the day so if you're trying to cop man first thing you need to do is head over to adidas.com right now and enter for the raffle to win a shoe. I won the raffle on the 380 Mist, which is my first time ever hitting on the raffle. And that was like my first time even trying to do it because I was like, I never hit on raffles, so there's no need to try. But I actually did it and I won the 380 Mist. But I feel like the lens are a little bit more worn and it's probably gonna be a little bit harder to win on those raffles, man. But you might as well go ahead and put in your information and try to win a pair of those Linen 350 V2s 
for retail. Another spice you can try mainly is Adidas.com on the release, and you can go ahead and try Yeezysupply.com. Yeezysupply been having a lot of issues lately. It's like super hard to get through the site. I know a lot of people told me to stop using Google Chrome and start using Safari, so I might try that with some more upcoming releases for the Yeezys. So I recommend you guys to go ahead and try to use Safari as well when trying to copy these Yeezys manually. Also check Foot Locker and Champ Sports, which are both getting the shoes. You're gonna have to try to do a manual cop on those two sites as well. So when they come out this Saturday, man, make sure you have your sites ready, make sure you have your browsers ready, all your sites, however many browsers you wanna run, to try to hit on these shoes for retail. I wouldn't be too scared to take an L for retail because I think that they're gonna be going a little bit over retail because I don't think they're gonna be going for that much money. You guys let me know right now in the comment section below if you like these shoes, let me know if you're going after them and let me know if you already got them. Man, I know a lot of people been getting Yeezys early from GOAT and StockX and stuff like that. So let me know how you're feeling about these Yeezy 350 V2 linens. Thank you guys for tuning in. I gave you a little bit of the release details over these linen 350 V2s. Like the video right now if you have not hit that like button. The go for every video is 200 likes, man. Help your boy out by slapping that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. And ring the notification bell for your boy so you never miss another video or live stream that drops on the channel. If you don't mind, please head over to IG. Give your boy a follow at The World. It'll be linked down below in the description box. And with all that being said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.